Alrighty, how is everybody doing? We are here in my room. Let me flip on the light here. So, got a couple of watches here I want to review first. Let's review this beautiful Seiko here. Now, I am wearing it on my wrist. I will show you what it is. You can probably guess, but... So, a quick story about me. What had happened was, prior to this, I've always been into watches, and I've always been a watch collector. More of an enthusiast than a collector. But, at the same time, I still am a collector. The first watch that really got it all started for me, I mean, truly started as a watch collector, was a Seiko. Believe it or not, it was a Seiko two-tone dressier watch that my dad had worn, passed it on to me, and he no longer wears it. I wear it every once in a while, more of the sentiment than anything, but it's quartz. I'm really into automatics now. I will create a video on that about what's different between a quartz and an automatic. Long story short, a quartz watch runs on a battery, an automatic runs on a hand-wound or as the name implies, an automatic movement. A simple flick of the watch, and it'll run on its own, depending on the movement, the power reserve. But anyways, let's get into it. So, as you can see, the reference here, number, is the Seiko 5 SNZF 15J1. I know that's a long reference number, but what that means, that J1 at the end of it, means that it is a Japanese-made Seiko. Since Seiko is a Japanese company. A lot of their watches that you'll see, such as the SKX or any of the Seiko 5s, they will have Malaysian parts or be made in Malaysia. But it is a Seiko nonetheless. So, here it is. I got my extra links in here as it is already size four, my six and three quarter, seven inch wrist. And there it is the Seiko 5 SNZ F15J1. It looks black in the video, but we all know it's a navy blue. This is a Pepsi dial, and this is how you can tell it is a Japanese made, most Japanese Seikos. Let me get that to focus. Kind of see in the corner right between 6 and 7 o'clock. We'll say made in Japan. Perfect. Right there. And then to the right we'll see the movement. It is the 7S36 movement. So what that means is that this movement does not hack. It does not hand wind. I can simply just wear it on my wrist. A little shake. A little. So here's another thing. People. When it comes to automatics. Stop shaking them. You are just running the risk of the movement being shaken. You're going to cause the inaccuracy to the watch. Now, I'm not saying a Seiko 5 is the greatest inaccuracy. If I wanted a super accurate watch, I'd get something like a Rolex or a Patek or Omega. Something that meets cost standards. You know, plus or minus, give or take, plus two seconds a day, minus five, six seconds a day. So something like a Rolex Submariner, very accurate as long as you set it and keep it running. You'll have an accurate watch for years to come. This one, I've noticed anywhere from 20 seconds faster a day to 15 seconds slower a day. So not necessarily within cost standards, but vi but for a Seiko 5, for you can get these anywhere from $150 in the gray market online to about $300, $350 at an authorized dealer. I got mine at an authorized dealer right at about that $320 price range. I'm not complaining since I know it's a Japanese one. It's an authorized dealer. Yes, I overpaid, but then again, I know I'm getting a very nice watch and I'm not getting ripped off, which is most of the time why I deal with mom or pop jewelry stores or authorized dealers. So... This is going to be difficult to do, but we'll make this work. So I'm going to prop this, my phone up here. I'm going to take my watch off, but you can see right here, unidirectional bezel. So it is a dive bezel watch, 
and it's got the dive bezel on there as you can see as I can turn and reset it and things like that so I mean definitely water resistant to 100 meters I've worn it swimming I've worn it in the shower still runs perfectly fine um, however a watch like this I would not recommend diving with it just because it's not meant to be a diver Anyways, it's just a dive style. If you want a Seiko diver, a Seiko diver will say right around 6 o'clock divers, 200 meters, 300 meters, however deep it is, those are Seikos you can go diving with. Off the top of my head, so a Seiko Patty, a Seiko SKX, a Seiko Turl, any of those Seikos, you feel free to dive as deep as those meters allow you to dive. This one... This gives you the look of a diver, but not quite a true dive watch. Don't get me wrong, it's still a tool watch. I've ran in this, I've worked out in this, and the movement is still fine. Bracelet is a little beat up, but again, this is my first watch that I got um, since I started rebuilding my collection again. So before this video gets too long, Let's give you one more look at it. I'm going to take it off my wrist again. On the back right here. There it is. If my phone can ever really focus. It's not going to focus the greatest, but. So there is the 7S36 Seiko movement. No hacking, no hand winding. But. The watch doesn't feel too heavy in my wrist. Feels perfectly great. I only got about a six and three quarters to about a seven inch wrist, depending on the weather. But, and that's another thing, guys. If you know that a watch is too big, when you can start seeing the lugs overhang on your wrist, I'm not a big guy by any means. I'm 5'6, 165 pounds, so I'm pretty small in general with about a seven inch wrist. When you can see the lugs overhanging your wrist, like you can see it, it's almost too big. But for 40, 40 millimeters, most sites will say 42. It's 40 millimeters is how big this watch is. Um, this is just a perfect size. It's for a sports watch. It's great. I can wear it to the gym. I can beat it up, beat it, you know. I can change it to a rubber strap if I cared to, make it a little more sporty. Kind of difficult to find 22 millimeter straps. You can find 18, you can find 20, 24 for goodness sakes. But 22, it's that weird strap these days to, that's difficult to find. But um, if you're going to change the strap on it, I highly recommend a blue strap, a red strap, black. Just really anything that can kind of almost go with the red and blue combination, the Pepsi combination so pick one up and uh this is one of the few seikos i recommend these days with how seiko is going i only recommend if you can find them japanese made seikos you will get a quality watch with years to last out of that